I don't try to see autism when I see my son. I basically see just a really happy boy. She's really taught us more than we could ever have taught her, and she's really the gift. It's been hard, but at the same time, Marley has been a light in our family, and not everything comes easily to everybody, and for her, the learning is harder and processing. Um, speech and language is harder for her, but she brings this immense amount of joy. She's highly creative. She's got the best sense of humor of the family. I waited till he was three before I heard, I love you, Mom. That took a lot of therapy and a lot of time and a lot of effort on everybody's part to even get him at that point. And still he's 11 and he's doing very well and it's still a struggle for him sometimes to be able to express himself. When he was younger, we thought he was gonna certainly be completely independent. He was on a great trajectory and now we feel like it's probably very likely he's gonna need some sort of support lifelong. Brandon was born typically and he was developing typically. I mean, he was just a, a bright smiling kid. We noticed that um, he seemed to withdraw, just kind of froze um, in time is the best way I can explain it. We just, we didn't know why, we didn't know anybody like that. No one offered any help. I see the kid he was supposed to be, and that's probably the hardest, because I see what a nine-year-old should be, what a ten-year-old should be, that he gets it. And then two minutes later, he's humming, and autism just traps him, so you know he's in there. Everything we do is try to get more of those good Brandon days and less of the bad autism days. After the last decade, pretty much, of what our family has been through, we have kind of hit this point in the road where we're regrouping and realizing he's going to need lifelong care. One thing we've realized about autism autism is it's very expensive. He's always been in a special education private school that I've had to pay for 100% out of my pocket. We've never received any kind of assistance. My son has been on a waiting list to receive Medicaid for the last 11 years and in this time his name has come up for Medicaid three times. It's overwhelming for almost anyone of almost any means because the needs are very great. Other disabilities or illnesses have a go-to place and you know they, they jump right in with care and some places you can figure out how you're going to pay for it later. That's not how autism works, but the ginormous cost of autism, it can cause a family to go into bankruptcy so quickly. Nothing, hardly, that helps is covered by insurance. We are nickel and dime to death. No doctor on our insurance plan helps us. They don't even understand autism. Autism is a lifelong thing. It doesn't ever go away. It kind of morphs and changes over time when a kid hits certain ages. So it's a constant uh, adjustment of therapies or treatments or whatever your child may need at any given moment. You're constantly rearranging, but it's a 24-7 operation, 365 days a year. It just never stops. Well, I can't give up on him. He's tried so hard, you know. I'm sorry. Um, he's tried so hard himself, and he asks me all the time, you know, when I go to college, when I get married, when I when I get my own car. He has a lot of dreams, you know, you cannot step back and give up on somebody that has that much hope in himself. Every parent would do everything for their child. The limiting factor is the finances. Myself and a group of other special needs parents have gotten together and created our nonprofit. Our goal is as quickly as we raise the funds, just to get them back out. We're local, we're, we're in our communities, and most of us on the board are special needs parents ourselves that have been in, in the same position. And as a community, we need to be taking care of each other and our kids. So I'm hopeful that our community together can help build a world that is ready for them, as well as getting them ready for the world. We want to write checks and help these families not think about these things so that they can think about their child. We get it, we've been there, and we're just here to help and to provide that compassion and say, how can we give you a ray of light? Because sometimes you feel like you're in the dark. We hear you, we understand you, and we want to help you.